welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Tin. Today we're going to be doing a walk around video of our 2012 Ford Territory Titanium. This video we're going to walk around the outside of the car, we're going to go through the condition of the exterior, the interior, some of the features as well as some of the capabilities of this car. So looking at this car you'll see it's this brilliant blue metallic colour that Ford have and they've already, the previous owner, has protected this car very well with a genuine bonnet protector which is says territory on the front, would protect the bonnet from all the stone chips that you'd normally see on a colour like this. Uh, down here as well you've got these nice little LEDs as well as your really bright headlights um, there as well. Across the front here you've got nice chrome uh, accenting into a black grille with the lines going straight across. It really brings the car in at the front. It's just very, very nice looking car. Just trying to see, there's a mo minor, I think two stone chips I found with, uh, with touch up on them and I only found them because it's a dark color, it's a sunny day and I got in really close and I'm looking for any imperfections that I can point out for you as well. I've got another little uh, touch up down here too. Now looking at this first wheel, we do have a couple of, a little bit of minor scuffing here, nothing too, too much to be concerned about, as well as really awesome tread and a practically new tyre. Over here you've got your all-wheel drive badge, as well as a little chrome vent here, which helps control the temperature inside the engine bay. You've got body, uh, body colour-coded side mirror caps, as well as your side indicator integrated into the side here. Moving down the car here, you've got nice colour-coded door handles, a couple of light minor scratches into the into the paint here. Got a little bit of a blemish here as well, but there's nothing too much going on. Like I said, I am trying to be as picky as I can for you uh, today on this video. Being a dark colour, a lot will stand out, but it does present very, very well. You do have uh, privacy glass on the back, which isn't UV protectant, so UV protection can be applied to that. It just makes the car look very, very neat as well. Down here, we got a little bit of minor scuff, nothing else going on with this wheel, as well as a practical new, a practically brand new tyre. The tail lights on this car do bend around the back, which really brings it in. The red stands out awesomely against the, uh, the back of the, the car here. We do have a Heyman Reese tow bar fitted down here, as well as nice chrome accenting in the back. And you got your little plug here. I did see in the car before, this car does have electric brakes fitted to it. Territory badge with your turbo diesel badge as well. Now on the territories, one of my favourite features is you've got a glass button and a door button. You press the glass button, you only open up the top here. So you can easily load things in the back and you don't have to worry about opening the whole boot every single time you want to open it and it gives you very, very easy access. In the back here as well, it is a seven seater and it does have leather, so we'll have a quick look at that. These seven seats do fold down, which make it look very, very neat. So you just lift up that pull forward you do have to pull the back uh, the base under but um, yeah like I said it's just I was more just showing you that they do fold down was the point there you press the door button here and you lift up and the whole door opens do have some territory floor mat tidying in the back here underneath here this is where you you pull up from here I think I've, already, I've there we go Whew. So many cars in stock, it's just hard to try and remember. Now the middle seat is leaned back a little bit, so it won't fold flat just yet, but yeah, that's how you, you fold down the seats. Not a very good um, how-to video just there, but I'm just more trying to show you through the, uh, the condition and features of the car. You do have your cap here to fill it up with the diesel. Down on this rim, there is no scuffing on this rim and, practic and a practically brand new tyre as well. Now moving down the side of the car, we do have this chrome uh, lip along the bottom of the, the window here, which may break up the, the dark blue of the car from the uh, black window. Very, it looks very, very sharp. Light minor scratching on the inside of the door handle here. Probably someone who owned this car had, had a ring, um, and that's all that looks like. Very, very minor. Once again, chrome, breaking it all up. A couple of minor ch stone chips in down here, but they've been touched up and they don't really stand out. And down here we've got a little bit of scuffing and a brand new tyre as well. Now I'm going to pop the hood of this car and we'll have a look at the, uh, the engine that is underneath the, the hood of this car. So underneath here we've got our 2.7 litre turbo diesel, which is very economical in the uh, Ford range. Oh, I've lost my little... There it is. I had it open just before, how embarrassing is that? So under here, we've got our turbo diesel engine, which is very, very economical. <coughs> it is a V6, and it does have a six-speed gearbox behind it, 
which means while you're driving this car, you are able to tow 2.7 tons with that electric brake kit already fitted. You don't have to worry about having to fit one to try and get that sort of towing out of the car. Uh, this, this does have a 75 litre tank and it will average about 9 litres per 100 k's which will give you an average distance of 833 kilometres per tank of fuel which is brilliant in a 7 seater. To the inside of our Ford Territory Titanium you'll see just how brilliant condition this car is and I'll go through a few of the features as well. So to my right here we've up on the door we've got a, our little control so we can adjust our two mirrors moving down from that onto the armrest you've got your uh, four electric window controls as well as a child lock for the rear windows too now you can't see it sitting next to me where i am but this car does have courtesy lights so when you open up the door it's got a little light inside the door which will open up and illuminate the floor so you don't get out straight into a puddle or something that you didn't see there to the right here we've got our indicator stalk as well as our headlight control this car does have two keys to the left we've got our front and rear windscreen washers too. Steering wheel itself is in brilliant condition. I quite like the contouring on the Ford steering wheel. It makes it perfect to hold. It's really, it's molded perfectly for your hands. On the right hand here we've got all our cruise control setting buttons and on the left here we've got all of our um, Bluetooth and media buttons too. You can switch through the mode of the radio, CD um, and auxiliary on here as well as skip through the tracks, adjust volume and hang up and answer phone calls. Moving to the centre of the car, we've got our navigation up. This car does come with satellite navigation, so I just thought I'll open up with that there for you. And it's touch screen too. It's very, very responsive, very easy to use as well. So we've got dual zone climate control here, so you get your passenger settings, which we've got hard buttons for as well down here. We've got all of our radio stations here. If we go to our menu, it'll bring up all of our settings too. And this, it's just so easy to use, so responsive. It's just very, very well designed. Moving down from that here, we've got our CD player and all our hard buttons as well for our temperature on either side and our fan speed, where the um, air is gonna come out too. Down here, our media controls, you got your skip, on and off menu, volume, as well as you can go back. This is for using the uh, screen up here. You can operate that as well. We've got our lock and unlock buttons for the doors, traction control, and interior lights. Down here, we've got a nice storage uh, door which opens up. Now this car, does, as I mentioned, it's got electric brakes for that towing capacity and the controller is fitted in here so you can actually adjust the power of the electric brakes which is very handy and you have a 12 volt outlet in there too. Now this car is fitted with a ZF six speed gearbox which when you pop into drive you can put it across and you can actually manually select your gears which really helps when you're towing heavier objects. And then in reverse as well, I forgot to mention outside, you do have a reverse camera, which is very, very handy for parking and pulling up if you're gonna be attaching a trailer. Two cup holders here, as well as a nice big center console. Now this is very deep and very handy. You can fit so much stuff in there. You've got an auxiliary and a USB port, as well as a nice little holder in here. And a little coin holder as well, because a lot of people lose a lot of change in their center consoles. It's leather wrapped as well, and all the seats are full leather. There are a couple of marks on the seat, nothing too too bad, but there's no cracking and the leather is in brilliant condition. As we pan around the rest of the car, you will notice in the roof we do have an Alpine DVD player. Very good for a seven seater. You've got all your kids in the back and you can have a DVD player on so they can watch the DVD um, while you're on longer drives as well. It really helps out and that just folds away nicely too. Um, yeah, just this car is in brilliant condition. And the video won't do it justice with all the ways you can move the seats around and stuff like that. I would recommend coming down and having a look for yourself just to really appreciate this vehicle. So thanks for taking the time to watch our walk around video of our 2012 Ford Territory Titanium. If you have any questions, please give us a call on 9907 and we'll be happy to help with your inquiry.